Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be going over the data logging feature of BluePSI, MotionX wireless pressure sensor. Uh, BluePSI allows you to view, record, and export pressure readings via your iOS, Android, or Windows device. And with the data logging feature, some models of BluePSI can save readings in BluePSI's internal memory while not connected to a receiving device, and allows you to uh, connect and retrieve that data later in a batch. Uh, this is useful in situations where a stable Bluetooth connection is hard to maintain, either due to metal obstacles being in the way, or radio frequency interference, or for longer-term applications where you won't consistently be connected to BluePSI, uh, which allows you to leave Bluetooth range. Uh, let's see how this works. So I have BluePSI. Uh, you'll connect to BluePSI as usual, so I have an iPad here. Uh, I have the multi-gauge app open, so I'll go to New Measurement, and then I'll tap the plus button in the top right corner of the page device ID and connect, and then uh, readings will be shown in the software. Uh, since this model is data logging enabled, um, you will see a log symbol in the top right corner of the gauge panel. So if I tap that, it should give me all the information I need on data logging. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing some data logging here. Uh, the recording summary panel will show you a lot of the information you need, such as the recording type. You can either record just pressure uh, readings or pressure and temperature. It'll show you the recording mode. So right now I'm in first in, first out mode, uh, which once the onboard memory is full on Blue PSI, it drops the oldest reading taken and adds the latest reading. Uh, but you can also switch to fill until full mode, which logs data until the onboard memory is full, and then it stops automatically. Um, similar to adjusting the data rate in real-time readings, you can adjust the data interval here. Uh, right now I have it set at one sample per second. Uh, the data point shows uh, the number of readings that have already been taken and what the total limit for the logging session is. The start and stop time mark the start and stop timestamps of the data logging session. And over here with memory status, uh, it shows the percentage of memory used with a big and log indicator and the anticipated time until full. Uh, time until full depends on the recording type and the data logging interval. Uh, before starting a data logging session, uh, go to the settings page to adjust your recording type, recording mode, data interval, and uh, passcode, which I'll go into in a minute. Uh, keep in mind that um, settings are disabled when a data logging session is in progress, and they'll be enabled again once it stops, so make sure your settings are uh, in order before you start uh, logging. Speaking of which, uh, let's press this button here to start data logging. Data logging is currently in progress. Uh, so you can exit the data logging page, uh, without stopping data logging, so I can go back here, uh, and the log icon in the gauge panel is currently flashing, showing that the data logging session is active, and you can actually also disconnect from Blue PSI. Uh, you can exit the app, you can do whatever, uh, and then if you connect to Blue PSI again, uh, data logging will still be active, as you can see by the flashing uh, data log symbol. Uh, so yeah, let's go back to that data log page. Uh, you can retrieve data uh, either with or without stopping data logging. Uh, be aware that new readings won't be recorded during data transmission if it's triggered during a data logging session, uh, but you can record it while it's logging or after it's logging. Let's uh, stop data logging here and retrieve data. Uh, and then once the data is retrieved, uh, you can click over here in the bottom right to view the data. It's pressure, temperature, timestamp, or would just show pressure readings if I was only recording pressure. Um, since uh, we realize that the data logging feature uh, may be used in longer term, higher stakes applications, uh, we think it's important to keep your recording process secure. So that's why passcode protection uh, is an option that's been added to settings to protect the data logging session from unauthorized users. So once turned on, uh, let's set a passcode here. Uh, once turned on, uh, passcode verification is required prior to any data logging control action, such as starting or stopping data logging, uh, retrieving data, uh, or changing data logging session. For example, if I try to start data logging here, I have to enter the passcode first, and then I'm able to start data logging. BluePSI's data logging feature is available on any BluePSI model ending in 02. It comes in handy for a variety of pressure reading applications or pressure and temperature reading applications. And if you want to find out more, you can go to our website at motionix.com or send us an email at info at motionix.com. Thank you for watching.